Hey, Ryan, it's Dave Buchak from Canada, uh, Snowbird in the in the summertime and the wintertime out in Riverbound. We're in uh, lot 97 and uh, we're extremely happy to be a uh, part of the Riverbound family. Wow, thank you so much, Dave. Really appreciate that. Um, how did you hear about Riverbound to begin with? Well, we had a house actually in Havasu and um, we were uh, driving around. We were going to sell our house and we wanted to RV and travel more in the, in, in the States being from Canada. We didn't want to have a, a house tied up in, in Havasu. So uh, we saw the development kind of take its uh, infant stages there uh, a few years ago. Um, and uh, then we thought, okay, we still want to stay in Havasu. So if we sell the house, this is a great piece of us staying in the community. And uh, the, the, and so we watched it and then just popped in one day and we were actually, uh, we, we drove around, saw it and uh, was, was driving really uh, slowly by the store. And Amy poked her head out and said, come in here. And uh, I thought, well, that's kind of gutsy for her to, to be so forward. Well, her dad used to sell Jaguar cars and uh -huh. uh, he, uh, she says, that's a nice car. And uh, anyway, so we came in and uh, about two hours later, we were owners. Oh, that's, uh, that's great. Um, so it sounds like you were looking to either downsize or get out from underneath the headache of home ownership, but you still wanted to have a staple and have a suit. Kind of sounds like that was your, uh, your goal. Yeah, that, absolutely. And along with that was then to be able to travel around into the States. So that facilitated both of those goals. And uh, it, it kept us in, in Havasu, but allowed us to uh, drive around. It's kind of tough leaving Canada and going to a house and going, well, now we want to travel uh, around the States a little bit. Uh, so we just didn't feel you know, a, a, a lake house, as my grandchild puts it, uh, feel up in here in Canada so we just we couldn't rationalize having having three homes and uh so this really helped us uh uh um not have a, a house tied up but it had a living you know arrangement and ability to tra uh, uh travel so it was just perfect it really fit our bill well that's great um how was the buying process uh from the time that you made the decision to move forward um I understand that you, you know, worked with our on-site, uh, you know, real estate agents, and you know, we all know when it comes to buying either a car or a house, you know, the buying process can be a little difficult at times. So I was just wondering if you could share with the audience uh, what was the buying process like, the paperwork, uh, you know, just from A to Z. Well, it was good. It was it was slick, um, uh, quick, really efficient. Um, I really appreciated being a a past uh, president of our chamber of commerce for our our state and our city, you know business a little bit, and I, and I and I really appreciated the the mindset and the incentives, uh, you know, at 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 the at the time there of uh, with with the hunting kind of atmosphere that I thought that your organization had yeah. uh, for a client. It sent a good message to me, and uh, you know, so a partnership is only successful when it's mutually beneficial, not just one way. And I felt that uh, it, it, was, it was good, it was quick, and, uh, and I appreciated uh, us, us getting in, and, and it was just a really good process. Oh, that's great. I remember uh, when you were um, engaged in the process, I think you were technically in escrow, and uh, if you remember, uh, you and I were walking your lot before there was even a, a structure built, and we were you know, measuring it out and talking about concepts and ideas. Um, is, is there anything that you looked at before you closed escrow on the building uh, that, you know, you didn't necessarily realize, you know, after the fact, is there any characteristics about the park or your unit or your lot uh, that kind of came into focus and, you know, you considered a good thing after you actually closed escrow on your building? Well, I um, realized the size of the lots, um, maybe it's more of a micro uh, answer to your question, but uh, for for me it was the 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 feeling of the amount of space that we were getting for our dollar was mm -hmm. was uh, quite quite significant. And then with that building going up and then coming into it and being in there this last uh, last year for well five and a half months, 
it was, it was amazing the amount of size and space we got for for our dollar um, was really a good a good feeling. And again, I needed to have a piece of Havasu before I could sell the house in fear of leaving Havasu. Right. And I and I did not want that. And this allowed us to to stay in and stayed in with room. Like it's the place we've been to around Havasu and just other places, you know, in Canada and in going between the states or Canada and Havasu. The, the, these this the space and the uh, the openness of that we get as owners uh, versus being on top of each other is really, really important, very significant. And that, so that was a, that was a, a change on, it is what I assumed would, would be a feeling, but sure became a feeling after being in there then for this last winter. Wow, oh, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Um, what kind of improvements have you made to the inside of your building? Well, lots. We, uh, we did oh, wow. a, um, a storage facility. Uh, we did a, a, a bathroom. We've done a little kitchenette. Uh, we did some pretty neat stuff. We had a great uh, contractor, John's his first name, um, and he he really did us well. Um, and uh, it, it's a really nice piece. It's uh, the storage loft up top uh, give, gives extra room uh, and 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 space to store stuff and. And uh, downstairs in our bathroom, we, we, we've done a, a, a fair amount that really makes it uh, really augments our, our fifth wheel that that we have there. So uh, uh, we, 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 we love it. That's all. so did you put in a, a mezzanine? Yeah. Oh, nice. So yeah. you could you, you got all your stuff below the mezzanine. But then when you walk up the stairwell, um, what do you have up there? Do you have like a window that's cut out that looks out uh, onto the property or do you just have a TV and couch? What do you have uh, on the second half of the unit? Just a TV and, 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 and couch and a uh, place just to do some extra story. And we didn't put a window up there yet. Um, it's something <laughs> that we, we did put one um, above the sink um, on that same wall, but on the main floor. And okay. that is that is really significant. In fact, my suggestion would be just about to... Um, include that in, in all of them because that really opened up the back especially our we really love our lot because uh we would back on to the to the driving range there so it's 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 really wide open uh, type thing but um yeah those little uh those little windows sure make 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 a difference and, and is a good thing you know what i was thinking um and let me know your thoughts on this um i'm just kind of brainstorming we haven't done it yet um so for anybody that does have a mezzanine in their unit uh, to kind of expand on that, um, we could put a balcony with a sliding glass door to kind of give you some extra space that you could, you know, uh, have a cup of coffee or, uh, you know, have a cocktail as the sun's going down. Uh, just have a nice little, you know, balcony area that you can expand upon. I think that'd be uh, something to look into. Oh, yeah. No, that that would be good. Even uh, what's that called? Uh, the little railing and... Um... Not Cinderella, no, what's it called? Uh, whatever the queen looks over, but that, yeah, a sliding door, like I said, uh, um, and, and just to look over and have that feeling would, would, cause you're so high up up there, right? Uh, yeah. That, 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 that's a good idea. In a, in a shed, we put a shed in the outside and okay. that, uh, because the, the garage was supposed to be part of the shed. Well, it, no, it becomes, it becomes more than a, a shed. So now you need a shed. So, how we we put a little um a little side shed on and that's really that's an idea too to make as part of a base program and people will pay for it because you're you're um you're, you're going to need that if you're going to enjoy any of the 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 shop uh piece right that becomes part of your your overflow of your your little kitchenette uh, uh couch and you know so you don't want to have storage stuff in there so I'm, I'd be convinced that people would pay the extra dollars to have a little shed there to have all your storage type stuff. Because a couple of small little points as a retrospective kind of thought. Sure, sure. So um, if you're looking at your building from um, Riverbound Road, the shed that you're talking about, that would be on the, uh, the left side of yeah. your building? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, I remember when we were talking before your building was even erected, we were just kind of going through the, uh, you know, the concepts and the ideas. And I remember you were talking about putting in maybe like an outdoor 
kitchenette or barbecue area with a fire pit. Is that something that you're still giving consideration to or just waiting that's for still, time to be that, right? Or? That's still an option. And uh, we, we did that exact thing at our house. Yeah. And we would, we would just transplant that concept uh, would be perfect there and would complete, uh, uh, we think then a, a living piece outside. You've got a nice living piece inside. Uh, you can enjoy the, the, the shop dash facility, but uh, the one on the outs uh, on that side, there's so much room. That's a nice thing about the, this project. There's room. You, you don't get that in, in most other places. So, uh, because of that, you can really, you can reach your arms out and, and live and breathe. And so that's still on, on, uh, we've got the plans for it. Um, yeah, we know exactly what it will look like and would be a good piece to, to augment, uh, th that side for outdoor living, um, um, you know, with, with, with a little, cool, uh, uh, shade or, uh, structure type thing, uh, uh pergola type thing, uh, to so yeah no that's that that'll be stage two very nice well it sounds like your biggest takeaway up until this point is that you've gotten um some good bang for your buck well absolutely and you know it we you know yeah for, uh, well what was it all in 25 percent of of our house <laughs> and and, uh, and we're living in uh we're living in in in, in Havasu, so uh area and uh, it's a good community the the friends we've made there with the full timers and and the part timers have been really good yeah, we're, we're excited to come down again and um um when uh, when it gets a little colder and uh come and see what uh what phase two is looking like and the future plans really looking forward to it awesome um how long have you been um in, in outdoor uh, recreation. How long have you been, you know, an RV or if you will, whether it be full time or part time? How long uh, have you been, you know, an outdoorsman? Forty years. Wow. Yeah, we 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 used to go to a Soyuz um, in Canada. It's in British Columbia. It's our version of Lake Havasu. It's the closest thing to desert. It's the closest thing in Canada to guarantee good weather. It's a Soyuz and. Uh, we did that for 22 years. Holy and cow. one day my brother-in-law and I said, geez, uh, where are we going to look at retiring? And I said, well, I got to be near water. Uh, that's where I got to be down south. And my wife and I said, my God, if we would have, we would have done this 20 some years ago, uh, well, 30 years um, now, probably 30 years ago, uh, we, we probably would have. Because the Soyuz from where we live in Saskatoon is 16 hours. I think it's 24 from where we live to have a soup. So six more hours and okay. guaranteed, guaranteed good weather. But uh, yeah, so all most of our lives, we brought up the kids. We have five kids, three grandkids. They all lived on the water and, uh, and it's, it's just a excellent way of life. Uh, that's uh that's fantastic. Um, so I guess it'd be fair to say that you've been to more than one campground or more than one RV park in your day. Yeah, one plus about a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, to expand on that, um, could you share with the audience, Dave, in your opinion, what do you really think separates Riverbound from other RV parks that you've stayed at before? Well, I think the 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 infrastructure, the commitment to the infrastructure has been significant, mm -hmm. and that's a foundational issue. And as a business guy, that's important. Sure. Uh, the size of the lots. Yeah, the, the, the continuity of, 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 of the project uh, with, with, with some local autonomy, and that's appreciated. You, you as, a, as the, the leader to that, have, have been open to stuff that makes sense. And, and uh, we, you know, Dash, I have appreciated that. But uh, space-wise and, uh, and the investments secure for the future, you know, that's, that's obviously you know, a bit of a risk issue for being out, out of country, whether it's Canadians going to states or states, you know, buying in Canada, there's always that element. Uh, but uh, um, it's, it's quite sec secure and there's, there's infrastructure and capacity and that's, and I appreciate that. Yeah, was, most uh, RV campgrounds, uh, you've got little room in between each pad. So, um, you know, going into the design, we really wanted to emphasize on spacing it out and giving our tenants a little more elbow room. So it sounds like um, you know, that was, uh, something that you appreciate. 
Oh yeah, I've never seen anything that size and that capacity. You know, it's 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 absolutely the whole nine yards because you either get one or the other, and here we get both. And you know, when we do that phase two, that outdoor kitchen, yeah, which is look really hot, and the size for our pad with the the uh, cover uh, with the um, lean to for our our RV. We we actually you don't know this yet, Ryan, but we're probably uh, still in our fifth wheel and buying a motorhome. Um, and, and there's size for that with 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 uh, capacity. And then you got the, the shop storage facility. And then you have room on the other side for a little extra parking for a trailer or whatever you need for a short time. Time, I mean, and then and the shed. So very, I've never seen anything that with that capacity. We got the space for it, um, which is good, like uh, the project. And it was a smart move. That that's a different. And, uh, deal break, uh, maker breaker in, in, in some people's minds. No, that's great. Um, so for the folks out there that, um, you know, have visited Riverbound or passed by it or have been to the website and, you know, they're on the fence about, you know, buying a unit um, and becoming, you know, potentially your neighbor, so to speak, um, what kind of advice would you give somebody that is you know 50 50 or say on the fence about buying a unit at riverbound if you were sitting across from them right now and they said you know dave i'm thinking about buying you know but you know here's my hesitation or you know whatever their situation may be what kind of advice or recommendation would you give them about buying a unit at riverbound yeah as the last three four people i've talked to in the last when we were down there uh was to it was to buy and buy early yeah. and get uh uh because uh, down the road, it's 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 good. I think it's going to be more expensive, uh, you know, in, into the future when there is supply and demand, right? When that, sure. you know, buy out there, the demand's going to go going to go way up. So uh, it, it's safe. It's 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 uh, it's a good feeling, you know. The where, what is it? What is it, Ron? Four miles out of town? What are we? Five? Um, about yeah, something like that. I, um, it's about eight minutes north of you know, yeah. the Walmart and the air, the Havasu air center there. Yeah. 10 minutes, down, 10 minutes downtown, a cup of coffee or one discussion of a list that your wife's going to give you what to do for the day. So uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's, and, and the freedom and to get on the side by side and go into the, into the mountains there, the hills, you know, is just, is, is, is fabulous. And then being, so we have a slip in the, in the lake, in the, um, at the Marina there, so for us, it's absolutely perfect. So uh, buy and it's safe to buy and, and uh, it's, it's a fair deal. And, and, and it's, you know, it's, it's part of something that's, well, it's, it's, it's a world-class project. So that, that's, you know, and you can see it's continually developing and, and that's, that's important for the, like I said, a partnership is only successful when it's mutually beneficial. Both have to be successful, the client and, and the project, because if a project ain't sustainable or, isn't successful then our our side of it is jeopardized and vice versa yeah. so that's a good partnership makes it sustainable and 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 good for the good for not only short term but, but for the future and that's you know everybody's long-term uh, goal has to be a secure investment yep. a teamwork makes the dream work right <laughs> exactly yeah yeah that's um, what uh, so talking yeah. about uh, operations real quick, um, you know, we've got maintenance workers, groundskeepers and staff. Um, I know that you've been there now for how long has it been since you bought your unit? Is it has it been a couple of years already, Dave? Uh, it's come on to a couple of years coming up in May. Yeah. OK, wow. Um, say, I don't know, on a scale one to ten, how would you rate, you know, the people at Riverbound, the staff and the hospitality what kind of rating would you um, would you give our operations crew at Riverbound? Well, I, I'd give it a nine. I uh, can't give you a ten because you guys got to keep on uh, hunting. Uh, 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 so I no, I, I, I give it a strong, strong mark. Uh, uh, Tiffany, Amy, and, and and the team there. I mean, they they treat it like they're like their own, and uh, it's it, it's it's a really customer service mindset, which is. Which is appreciated and and um, and and really uh, supported. Well, that's great. I mean, uh, to your point about running a successful business, it's definitely not successful unless you've got good people running the show, right? So, uh, any hockey team, you know, my team, Toronto Maple Leafs, my God, 
1967. That's my pin number in my card in case anybody finds a debit card or visa card around. Uh, it's last time the Stanley Cup, we won the Stanley Cup, but uh, it's it's team. And, and uh, um, you know, it, it, it team is it, are the players on, on the ice. And you know that. I know you appreciate that, uh, the way you treat your people. I can see it. I can see it in there, your commitment. And, and we, 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 we get the benefit of that or we get the downside of that if it's not there and, yeah. and, and it has been there. And, and, and that's good because we're there to, you know, we're there for the five months uh, to enjoy. Right. And uh, you know, that's, and the customer service side is there. We, it, it's part of the DNA of the organization. I can tell. Oh, that's great. Um, thank you for uh, touching on that. Um, Dave, I think I'm going to uh, let you get back to, uh test drive in your, uh, your new vehicle there. And um, really want to tell you that I appreciate you. Uh, you and Shannon both fantastic. Tell her that uh, we said hello. Um, we look forward to seeing you guys. Uh, sometime, it sounds like in the spring is uh, when you'll be heading down next. So uh, we look forward to it. And I guess uh, the next time uh, you're in the store, uh, be sure to grab a, a six pack of uh, Riverbound Anytime Ale uh, on us for uh, as a token of our appreciation for you taking the time to do the testimonial with us today. We really, really appreciate it, Dave. Well, you're welcome. God bless you, uh, Ryan. It's really, uh, it's we're blessed to be a part of the Riverbound family, and 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 we feel that, and and uh, we just thank God for that.